Hello YouTube and welcome to a comparison video between the iPhone 5C and the Apple iPhone 5S. So we got here the green version 16 gigabyte and the gray, space gray 16 gigabyte version of the iPhone 5S. I'm using them simultaneously for over uh, close to a week now. And what did I notice so far? Of course, this iPhone 5S is the same size, the same weight as the previous iPhone 5. And here we got the same technology built in uh, as in the old iPhone 5, just uh, in a heavier uh, plastic case. You get some different colors, of course, but it's the same technology as last year, with one exception. You get a little bit more LTE frequencies here, 4G networks. So, uh, what else? I like the lighter, thinner iPhone 5S better. For 700 euros, I want aluminum case, I want glass, I want this whole, lux not really luxury, but high quality build. And this is what I get. This is what I expect from a smartphone that costs over 600 euros. And here I pay at least 600 euros and there's no 64 gigabyte version. Just keep that in mind. But you get this plastic. You get plastic. You get colored plastic. Uh, the battery is built in. You can't remove the back cover. So everything is built really sturdy. Nothing is bending. Nothing is shaking. This is really a nice build quality, but still you feel it in your hands. It's plastic and it's not this aluminum backside. So just from the feeling of it, I like the aluminum and it's thinner and it is lighter. So backside, eight megapixel cameras with the bigger pixels and a double LED flash on the iPhone 5S. This should, Apple is telling us, this should give you nicer photos uh, and brighter photos with a double flash even in the dark uh, in my opinion no it i really can't see any that much of a difference that i would say yes this is really an improvement get the 5s just because of the camera even the photos in the dark with the flash are still looking like photos you took in the dark with a smartphone flash so uh, no improvement here in my opinion, in my, yes. Uh, down, down here, downside. Headphone jacks, microphone, uh, lightning port, and our speakers. On the right side, our nano SIM. On the left side, volume buttons and mute keys, uh, mute switch here. No, really not any difference here. And on top, our on-off switch, both, both are easily reachable without any problems and I really like holding them in my hand with the preferences to the iPhone 5S. On the front side, both devices with their 1.2 megapixel uh, FaceTime camera, which takes nice video chats and even nice pictures. Speakers are okay. Uh, overall speakers, phone quality, FaceTime quality, Skype quality, Google Hangout quality, everything is okay. It's great. No, not it's, it's okay. It's really great for a smartphone. Then there's a difference with the home buttons. You got here this bending home button with the symbol, and here you got this straight home button with the sapphire glass on top and the touch ID, which is also a fingerprint reader. And this is a really nice little neat feature. Just to show you guys, we lock it and then push the home button, take your finger, unlock it, and you are done. Uh, on the other side, you can still use a phone code, um, a four, four digits code to unlock your phone, but this is really much, much faster. Uh, just for compression, if you don't want the security feature, then still keep in mind on another phone, you have to push the home button and then you have to slide to unlock and this will take time as well. And here, in my opinion, pushing the home button and then scanning your finger, uh, didn't take this one. So again, pushing the home button and then scan your finger is, let's do it again, <laughs> just to keep, show you guys, nope, so pushing the home button, no, not Siri, uh, you have to lift your finger up, up again, uh, pushing the home button and then scanning your finger is in my opinion as fast as pushing the home button and then unlock it by sliding, so this is a nice 
really nice security feature that you should use if you have an iPhone 5s in my opinion so if you don't want uh, if you're just I, I would recommend to just use it so what else uh, using the phones definitely feels the same uh, touchscreen color retina display resolution everything is the same it's great it's, it's responsive in daily normal usage you won't notice any big differences but uh, just to show you Google Maps here zooming in zooming out zooming around works on both phones great there are little differences like for example HDR photos here you take them with HD HDR is activated and then now let's take a bunch of photos and as you can see the iPhone 5s is taking the pictures a lot faster than the iPhone C um, still the big speed update came with iOS 7 and uh, this f ex again not really for me a reason to buy the iPhone 5s the touch ID sensor for me is one of these reasons and now if you're low starting big apps like Infinity Blade 3 here for example ah okay just keep in mind one second we have to add one second to the to the 5c here there we go so we count one two three so it's still faster on big apps on big graphic apps but just uh, for example an infinity blade you get uh, more details more grass but you won't get a whole different gaming experience with a 5c over uh, with a 5s over a 5c so this is this is difference in using and speed differences the pr price difference 100 euros more for the 5s in my opinion 50 euros would be okay for the touch id for the lighter feeling and all the stuff and the new technology um i in my opinion 600 euros for the r5 cr is is in my opinion too much it's still a great phone both are fantastic phone top of the line uh, but if you keep in mind you can get an used iphone 5 for around 500 450 euros uh, and this is getting hard to to recommend the 5c or the 5s uh, if you don't need the lte frequencies these two are giving to you um, so this is it if you have an iphone 5 don't upgrade at least uh, just if you need the lte frequencies uh, then if you're used to an iphone 5 i would say if you don't want the plastic and don't want the thicker and uh, heavier phone get with the 5s uh, if it's your first iphone and you like the colors no problems to get to see and save the additional 100 bucks um, i really don't see um, a value you are getting for this is wor worth 100 euros over the 5c uh, unless the lighter feeling the aluminium build quality uh, and the touch id photos are um, by both devices great uh, it's a little maybe tiny little bit more performant uh, than the c but not worth 100 euros in my opinion uh, my recommended is get a used or brand new 5 iphone 5 for smaller money so this is it thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video Bye.